Hello, Cecilia Jonas and Birki from Thin Ice. Thank you very much for joining uh, this morning, joining us this morning for a short introduction for Thin Ice for the Nordic film Les Lübeck. Um, pandemic edition, VOD service platform, whatever you call it. Um, yeah, who wants to start? Maybe we start with, um, yeah, with Cecilia. Maybe you just tell us as concept director, um, what was your approach to Thin Ice, what the show is about, and um, how you did get on board? Uh, I came on quite early and uh, certain the producer contacted me about this Arctic thriller that would be about environment and set in Greenland and all these things just clicked into my point of uh, interest because I really want to make uh, lookable television and uh, entertaining television shows that still has a bigger purpose and I've always been interested in both those themes with um, indigenous people's environment and um, yeah so um, and then I met the the two writers or the three writers which we call super guys uh, because we had such a splendid um, work through Zoom or Skype uh, because they live in Iceland, me in Norway, the producer in Sweden. So we were used to it before lockdown, I have to say. Okay, super. So um, Jonas, maybe what was your approach to Thin Ice? What would you, what was your idea? What do you want to um, transport um, with this show to the world? Um, like Cecilia said, uh, the original idea was an Arctic thriller. Uh, and once me and Birkir uh, came on board, uh, there you know, was an idea of you know, what the outline of the show should be. Uh, but you know, our approach, uh, um, with the good help of Cecilia, uh, was to kind of make it a bit more about these pressing issues of both climate change, how it affects the Arctic, because I believe there are you know many many people all around the world that you know don't realize how um, how clear and and you know flamboyant these changes are in the Arctic region, mm -hmm. uh, and also to get in the story of the um, indigenous people and those you know living in these arctic regions and 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 how uh, uh, climate change and the melting of of the arctic ice especially uh, is affecting the interest of you know political superpowers of this region that up until this point has been inaccessible um all in all these things when they come together they're quite good material to uh, um, need out a nice dough of thriller, uh, uh, you know, to put up on the screen, we think. Uh, and yeah, it was wonderful working with, with my dear partner, Birkir, of course, and, and to have Cecilia with us, uh, uh, you know, just kind of brought the whole thesis and the premise of the series uh, uh, to a new level. And I, I, I think we did a pretty good job on, you know, getting these ideas up on the screen, but still using the medium of a thriller to, to bring them to the audience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally, totally, can totally agree. Um, Becky, what was your um, approach to the show? What was your um, idea, what you wanna get along to the audience with your contribution? Um, well, I felt, I felt, right from the start that I was really interested in Greenland mm -hmm. um, and their culture. So me and Jonas, we really wanted to get to know Greenlanders and we traveled a bit in Greenland um, and did our very best to portray their like role or, or situation when the, I mean, their country is made of ice and their culture is made on this ice and now it's slowly melting away and they have to try to respond to that and and you know transform in a way which is really interesting uh, interesting so we felt from the start that that was really exciting and we wanted to get that up on the screen 
uh, we did our best to do that. And then also, um, I think that what we also wanted to show in the thriller uh, or in the story is when politicians meet and they have to uh, make a policy or uh, an agenda and they have to weigh like short term interests and long term interests. Mm -hmm. And the way the world works nowadays, I think, is that the short term interest always gets chosen or, you know, people try to go for the short term interest because that's the thing that we understand. Mm -hmm. And for example, in this story, there is a kidnapping. And that's really pressing, of course, and people have to re, uh, react to it. But everyone forgets what the meeting is about, which is, you know, the global catastrophe of climate change. Mm -hmm. And it's, in a way, a bigger issue, but we don't really understand it. So we wanted to work with these themes. Mm -hmm. Right? Absolutely. And, you know, it's... it's, it's... <laughs> Uh, it's fun to look back on it now when you're talking about it, Birkir. Uh, because, I mean, of course, that's what's happening on the screen. Uh, they were talking, the politicians are talking about the most pressing issue, uh, not only of our generation, but all the future <laughs> generations as well. Uh, yeah, the most pressing yet issue. Yes, you're kind of hooked on the show because you want to know what happened to the kidnapping stuff. Yeah. And you kind of, you know, as a viewer, kind of become part of... Um, the hypocrisy <laughs> uh, surrounding climate change. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The fun fact is that Birgit and Jonas got stuck on Greenland because it's some circumstances Three there. <laughs> Three times. So they really got into the Greenlandic culture uh, even more than they planned. So, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, if you go to Greenland, you will get stuck. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's pretty much True. how it is. We had our birthdays there. Oh. That was beautiful. Yeah, and New Year's Eve and everything, you got stuck there. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. Were, uh, yeah, yeah. But I also want to talk a little bit about the, the characters because um, yeah. the, we knew for sure that we wanted this, um, uh, I hate this word, strong female characters, but what <laughs> I'm more interested in strong is the complexi complexity of the female characters because mm -hmm. uh, it's always been a bit like, supporting parts for the females and and th then they're less complicated but another issue that actually Nicolas Bro the, um, the Danish actor who who is doing the Danish minister was commenting on, on our our first table reading was that finally he saw also male characters that were as complex as his life is and he mm -hmm. was pointing on the character Enoch the Greenlandic policeman who also has an a family problem where he takes mm. care of his child and his uh, sick wife who's an alcoholic and he said finally we can also have male parts that's also soft and uh, caring and have a family issue so I got really proud of what the guys had been writing when he said that so yeah, the complexity of all the characters not only talking about female characters but allowing all sides of human beings being part of TV shows is really important for the three of us, I think. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the global warming thing is something very, I mean, it's pressing and it's affecting everybody, but it's still something very abstract somehow, right? So you can easily relate to all these characters in the show. This is something that I also thought about when I watched it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much for joining for the short introduction today. Um, we will have Thin Eyes, the first two episodes uh, being available on our VOD service for the Nordic Film des Lübeck this year. Um, last question, will there be like a season two? Will this story go on? Um, will they finally, I mean, we cannot spoil anything, but um, is there something in coming up? Who wants to answer? <laughs> we do have a plan. Okay. Yeah. But, yeah, but uh, you know how it is to finance things is always a question. So yes, yeah. we would love to make a season two, and uh, the the super guys have a plan for it. 
okay. and which we like mm -hmm. but it's not um how to say it in form yet it's not a deal yet if the audience demands it we're ready yes okay we will do our best please do okay so thank you very much and um yeah uh, to the viewers enjoy the show right see you soon thank you Bye. thank you